Six years after the events of the first film, Ralph and Vanellope have stayed best friends, hanging out after work in Litwake's arcade. Ralph is content with their life. But Vanellope longs for excitement and expresses how bored she has become of Sugar Rush's predictability. To please her, Ralph sneaks into her game and makes a secret road. The next day, when Vanellope fights the arcade player's control to test the track, the cabinet's steering wheel breaks. As the company that made Sugar Rush is defunct, and the cost of a replacement wheel on eBay is too high. Litwak decides to scrap Sugar Rush and unplugs the game, leaving its citizens homeless. The Search Protector finds homes for all Sugar Rush's citizens as a short-term measure as they figure out how to save the game. With Felix and Calhoun adopting the racers. Remembering eBay, Ralph and Vanellope travel through Litwak's new Wi-Fi router to the internet, a place where websites are represented as buildings in a sprawling city. Avatars represent users, and programs are people. The search engine Nosmo directs them to eBay, where they win the auction for the steering wheel by unintentionally spiking the price to States dollars They have just 24 hours to raise the funds, or they will forfeit the bid and lose the wheel. On the way out, they run into clickbat salesman JP Spamley, who BR. Poker's items obtained from video games and offers them a lucrative job of stealing a car from Shank, the lead character in the popular racing-centered battle royale game Slaughter Race. They steal Shank's car, but she stops them before they can leave the game with it. Suggesting another way to make money on the internet, she proceeds to make a viral video of Ralph and uploads it to video sharing site BuzzTube. She directs them to BuzzTube's head algorithm, yes, who elates on Ralph's video popularity. They decide to make more videos, which will earn them the money for the wheel if they attract enough views. Vanellope offers to help advertise the videos, and Ralph has yes sent her to Oh My Disney. There, while being chased by stormtroopers for advertising on the site, Vanellope befriends the Disney princesses. Being encouraged by them to discuss her sense of unfulfillment and reaching an epiphany in the form of an, I want, song on the subject. Ralph makes enough money to buy the W. He but finds Vanellope talking with Shank about staying in Slaughter Race, having felt at home there due to its relative novelty and unpredictability compared to Sugar Rush. Worried of losing his friend forever. Ralph asks Pamley for a way to draw Vanellope out of the game and is brought to the dark web vendor Double Dunn, who provides Ralph with a virus, Arthur, that feeds off insecurities and replicates them. When Ralph unleashes Arthur into Slaughter Race, it replicates Vanellope's glitch, triggering a server reboot. Ralph, Shank, and the others help Vanellope escape before the game resets. Vanellope blames herself for the crash, but Ralph confesses to her that the crash was actually his fault. Outraged, Vanellope throws away his hero cookie medal and runs off. As a guilt-ridden Ralph finds his now cracked in half medal. Arthur copies Ralph's insecurities and makes duplicates of Ralph. The clones overrun the internet in a DOS attack, all chasing after Vanellope to keep her for themselves. Ralph saves her and attempts to lure the clones into a firewall, but they form a giant Ralph monster that seizes them both. Ralph comes to accept that Vanellope can make her own choices, letting go of his insecurities. This also causes the giant Ralph monster and the clones to disappear, and Ralph and Vanellope reconcile. Ralph gives half of the broken medal to Vanellope and they biddy. See each other a heartfelt farewell as Shank has arranged for Vanellope to respawn in Slaughter Race. Back in the arcade, Sugar Rush is repaired, and Ralph partakes in social activities with the other arcade characters as he stays in touch with Vanellope over video chat, feeling content with his newfound ability to be independent.